some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves at the post office with a couple sovereign citizens who, well, don't exactly understand Title 39 of the U.S. Postal Service Code, which deals with franked mail, which is a mailing service exclusive to Congress to help with uh, inter-office communications and stuff like that. It is not meant for the general public. But these two yahoos think they know more than the postmaster, so let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hello. I don't have some uh, documents I sent off certified mail, and I've been tracking them, but they they haven't. Uh, You're not the, registry. The, they were sent they off on the evening of the twenty second. We put them in the blue box. You put these in the blue box. Mm hmm. Yeah. Under Frank, oh, under Frank and mail. Was it prepaid postage? How was it's, it's prepaid. Was it these ones? Yes. Yes. Uh. uh under Title 39 of the United States Code. So I think the postmaster already spoke with you guys about this, so I was waiting for her, because as far as I know, you guys can't use that, because that's... Now, uh, he's about to quote Title 39 of the uh, U.S. Postal Code, which deals with mail transmitted by the U.S. Uh, Vice President, Congress, and Congressional officials. And unless you are a uh, congressional official, Congress, or the vice president, you are not allowed to use this service. This is for inter-office communications only. So in other words, it's basically a way for congressional officials to send mail to each other to try to keep the government running as smoothly as possible without uh, sending vital documents through the regular postal service. So if these uh, two idiots are not exactly congressional officials or the vice president, then they have no authority to use that particular mail service at all. Title 39 of the United States Code. So that's for inner office, like federal. Yeah, I'll federal, talk to y'all about it. So well, you're, you're actually interfering with... Um, the these United are time-sensitive documents that have got to get out to, uh, to government, Congress and, and the president. Okay, can you provide proof that you are indeed authorized to use this particular type of mailing system? In other words, are you the vice president? Are you a congressperson or one of their aides? If not, then tough luck, dude. Okay, so sh what did you guys call this before? Franken mail. Franken. It's under yes, Title 39 she, of the United States Code. And she informed you that you cannot use that. You yeah, have to pay for the post. Oh, so it's the postmaster who's misinformed. The postmaster who doesn't know anything about the job that they've been doing for probably for a few decades by this point. And it has nothing to do with your low education and low ability to uh, read and comprehend anything that you come across, does it? Nah, that couldn't be it. Who's making the laws here? Is, is, are, are the legislators making the laws or uh, uh, the... Uh, Just the postal policy. And no, actually, okay, that. so we'll, follow, we'll call... So we're not going to follow the laws, we're going to follow the policy. Dude, these postal codes are pretty much the law, so... Uh, Get your facts straight. I have to follow postal policy. You're not. You're not following. But we'll we'll, we'll contact your your. Because your can I see sure my documents, the post, please? The postmaster has already we're, spoke. We're spoken going, with we're you going guys to, about that. We are going to contact the your, postal your, union. Postal union. Oh my God! Who the hell cares? Regarding this issue. Perfect. Because you're, you're I know violating. that she was told you that you guys can't use that. The, that's not what the law says, though. She, she will be receiving it. Okay. Right on. Yeah. Many, many minutes later. Uh, yes. We, we uh, set them on, each one on top of the envelope. Okay. Where is this no postage? 
Yeah, it's already prepaid. <coughs> Well, if you're sending it certified, it's it, prepaid. We're sending that we we uh, we're, we were wanted to send it Franken Mill under Title uh, Title 39 of the United States Code. <laughs> These are time sensitive documents that have to get to the president and members of. Well, dude, uh, you still have to show proof that you're either a member of Congress or the Senate or one of their representatives to be able to mail in that fashion. If you can't show proof that uh, you are a member of Congress or the Senate or anything like that, then, well, too bad. So sad. Good luck, dumbass. So how do we, how do we send it? it? So how do you send it? We've got to pay for it. Frank and mail is only for... Congress, so, that's not true. Uh, it, look well, at I'm not going to argue with you because I don't know. Well, I'm going to be sending you a note. Are you stupid or something? This is bull****. <laughs> Most of y'all don't know what the laws are. At least need to know your basic rights. No, it's not these two that are completely stupid. It has to be these uh, post office officials. It's not like they haven't been trained in their jobs or anything like that. I mean, come on now. The very idea idea that these post office officials would be knowledgeable in their jobs, unlike these two individuals who uh, probably just barely read something off the internet and took it as fact. I mean, come on now, guys. You're not exactly the sharpest knives in the drawer, are you? Because, well, did it ever occur to you that, well, maybe somebody out there actually knows what their job is and probably has devoted their life to studying exactly what they're supposed to be doing with their careers? In other words, they may know their job better than some nitwit off the street who thinks they know better than them. But I guess that really didn't occur to some simpletons like you. But oh well, that's life. The stupid is as stupid does. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.